For Atlanta native Eric Berry, last Sunday's game held special significance. I shed a few tears before the game. The last time I came home during the season, it was to get uh, chemotherapy. So, um, and then this time, it was actually to play the game. So I was just thankful. You know, I take pride in a lot of things that people take for granted. When opportunities come my way, I just cherish them and try to make the most of them. 13-13 time. 48 seconds remaining in the half. Fires it over the middle, intercepted by Berry! Eric Berry, who went through cancer treatments not far from here at Henry University with the pick six near the end of the second quarter. Berry just playing a robber in the middle of the field. All day, baby. All day. Hey, what you got on that back side? Huh? What you got on that back side? One, two blocked up. Two blocked up. Hey, okay. he ran it. He ran the war in the dig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the snap, the ever calm Barry held his ground. When he saw the tight end block, he shifted focus to the wide receiver's dig route. Eric Barry, like a thief in the night, was back there in the middle of the field. He just followed the eyes of Matty Ice. He does it in his hometown, surrounded by friends and family. Special moment for him from Georgia, playing in front of a lot of family and friends. And Eric Berry takes that football right over to his mouth. I made my mind up that I was going to give her the ball when I got it. You know, I can try to give her whatever. You know what I'm saying? It won't, it won't amount to the things she's given me and, and my dad as well. So many nights I just was crying on their shoulder and, you know, trying to make sense of everything that was going on. And they just kept telling me, you know, just keep pressing, keep pressing. You'll be back. You'll, you'll be able to play the game the way you want to play the game. With less than five minutes remaining, a Matt Ryan touchdown pass gave Atlanta a one-point lead. Their attempt to stretch that lead to three with a two-point conversion would be the game's turning point. The Falcons will go for two, leading 28-27. Once again, Barry was well served by his preternatural calm while playing zone coverage. On the snap, he stood firm and glanced outside. Satisfied the wideout was well covered, he looked up the crossing tight end. Born and bred in Atlanta, Georgia, and now he goes the distance on a giant mistake by Manny Ice. It's a lot worse than oh darn. Um, I'm not sure you can print it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Poor play on my part, expecting combination coverage to the outside, and Eric Berry did a good job of going on to the tight end. It's a game of a few plays here and there. It was a good play by Eric and a decision that I can't make in a critical situation. We know all the things he's been through. For him to have a showing like that in front of his family, Eric Berry is a special fan. Thank you, Eric. I think I held it together pretty good, but you know, it's just a lot of, a lot of emotions. I love him, you know, and I appreciate him, and just thankful that they were able to come to the game and see me play. That's the way to come home. That's the way to come home. We love you. We love you. Obviously, Eric with the eight, eight points by himself made the difference. Eric's heart and soul of this team, the embodiment of what we're about. Selflessness, hard work, giving it up for the guy next to you. That really does echo throughout the locker room because of who he is and the way he plays. How about the governor of Georgia right here, man? Yeah. Oh, God. You're home. You're home. Tomorrow we right back at it. Good dub, have fun, but we locked in, man. We locked in. Stay there, man. Let's go. Fam on two. One, two. Bam. Bam.